form. Ducky's gonna go down, but it does look like Premade was also gone down, so that Morgana, Clint Le Leetwood is the one being pinged right now. He may or may not go down. That cannon is very fast, He's gonna be providing down. a lot of vision right here. Nasus with his black hole again. Shen coming in, but that may not have been a good idea, and someone jumped out of there. What was that uh, teleportation? Uh -oh. There's Toaster. He's stunned. It looks like it's that's all for nope, he got away. Or has he? No, he he, he should stun. be pretty he should be pretty safe up there. Uh, I don't know what Syndex is trying to do. That shield of his got eaten so very quickly by the combined DPS of the the rest of your three teammates. But that was a one for one, but that dragon is also now down. I do believe you got the dragon. Are you level two yet? Uh no, I'm not. I'm all like eh, three fourths of the way there. Right, but 217 out of 280. Right, so that does mean that you guys got that dragon. That would be your first dragon kill. Our wards have run out on our side, so we have no map control. We have no idea where purple is at the moment. But after all that, what does your purple team look like for items? Let's see. Pre-made is Morgana. He's got two sight wards, a rod of ages, sorcerer's shoes, which kind of surprises me. This is more of a Mark Treads game, mm -hmm. but and a blasting wand. Well, there's a lot the of ability bla power. Blazing toaster as Sin or Shin has still has his heart of gold and Mark Grease Treads. He also has Oracle, so it looks like he's going to be hunting some wards. I think he actually counter warded right by the dragon before you guys engaged, but uh, yeah. I wasn't too sure off the off the bat. He also has a Negatron cloak and a Sunfire cape, so he's in pretty good shape. Our Nasus, who looks like he's in the best shape out of us all, has added a Sheen and a Banshee's Veil to his inventory. And Clint Leetwood's got his Mark Treads and finished off that Infinity Edge. Yeah, so. I see that. A 30-minute Infinity Edge. Probably not a record, but it's a good pickup no. on him. It will allow him to crit as well as do a, a ton of extra damage. What's he hitting for currently? 185. Well, yeah, that's his base damage, but of course with all the armor and different stats in this game, it's hard to tell. But It's a good base for comparison, if he however. Crits, if he crits you, it's not you're, you're going to feel it. That's for sure. Well, 250% of 185 should be a little under the 400 range. Yeah. Minus armor and all that. Yep. So it'll probably hit hit most of these for a solid 350, 325. Fair enough. Of course, with that Tarek around, it might not be because that Shatter Aura is it's pretty... It's pretty hefty. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty hefty. Now, Nasus, when he does uh, when he could, does his ults, and after his you know black hole of death, he is mostly a physical DPS champion. After all that said and done, is that correct? Yes. Yes, he is. So the shatter combo from Tarek plus stacking armor like on the cannon, uh, on the Tarek himself, not exactly on the Scion, and uh, I really didn't expect Fortune to start stacking uh -oh. armor, but. Speaking of Scion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble out there as he's just going really down. No more shield. He's done for the day. Clint looks like he's getting out of here. We'll see what Kennen has to say. No, Kennen's going to be running the other. A clairvoyance giving a vision again. Tarek is just does not know what to uh -oh. do. Does not know what true Knight of Ea is going for. Not going to get that heal off. And he's not going to go for the heal. Going to go ah. for the kill. But now it's him and Fortune versus the four of these guys. And there's really no more AoE that can be done. A good flash from Fortune Duck. Fortune just flashed over the wall. Over the wall. He's on his way out. This leaves Tarek to fend for himself, but Shen, uh, you know, doing the lunge and taunt. We got pre-made takedown still here. We still have Nasus, so it's a three-on-one. This is not going to be good There's for his. He's going to try to help with that slow, but it's just not going to be enough. No, sir, it will not. So you, right now, you guys have a very tanky team between both Nasus and Shen and Clint, you know, using all his mobility powers to get out of the way. Oh, yeah. And Morganas tend to build fairly heavy because of her ultimate need, needs you to be in really close range to really get it to go off well. Oh, the skill shot from Premade going to hit Duck and then a black hole of death right on the tower. Now, that does not affect the tower, however, as no, it does nothing not. of Nasus uh, affects the tower, unlike like heroes like Heimerdinger, for example. 
Well, Humandinger actually cannot affect towers with his grenades anymore. That was oh, that was changed? Nerfed. Yeah, that was changed to about a month ago. Oh, oh, there you go. I'm behind yeah. the times. So they've Heimer's really completely worthless now because he's down to two turrets. His grenades cannot touch towers, and I mean, and his ultimate was I mean, isn't that great with only two turrets? So Heimendinger's just really nothing now. He's tier like <laughs> tier <eight>. low. <laughs> <laughs> he's tier he's tier basically not even worth looking at anymore. All right, fair enough. It's better to have an Eve on your team because at least she has a stun. I've seen Eves uh, actually in some of my play, but it's not really here I see too too much of. I was wondering why Heimerdinger with his free week we didn't see more of him. Still a decently strong hero, but nowhere near what he used to be. That uh, dragon is now up and are you guys moving in for it? Up, uh, looks like well, we've got our tank just ported back, and Clint's still here, so. Well, it looks like Team Blue wants a piece of that dragon, as three of them are down there right now, with Fortune just teleporting back to and town. And that dragon is killing our ward. It's killing your ward? There's a ward there? Oh, yeah. big arrow coming <laughs> right onto that sign. Looks like a three-on-three -three fight with Light Striker taking a big brunt of that. He they really want him down. They want that aura get out of that. Kenny, that can hurts. Well, the cannon, your wish. And will he get out? <laughs> your wish is his command. And I don't think he's going to survive that from this Nasus with another clairvoyance going down. But um, it does look oh, like he got out. Yeah, he did indeed get out. Scion also did not get out, but uh, he he is down. Light Striker running for his life with Ghost and Misfortune there to help pick that up. But uh, we, I mean, right now it does not look like. I mean, everyone's starting to hit 18. And we really, more and more of these team fights are more Team Blue dying and more Team Purple really picking up uh, a lot of kills here. And it's putting them into a very favorable position. Hey, I'm level 2. <laughs> oh yeah. But a little bit of action here at the tower. Tower's going to go down to focus fire. That puts them kind of out high and dry. As Cannon coming back in here wants to get a piece of everyone here. But he has no slows really to help out his team. And there goes the misfortune. But also pre-made takedown coming down with that bubbly black, well, soup stuff. <laughs> it's, this is just not going to result in the kill for, our, for Team Blue. No. Her black soup stuff, by the way, is called um, Tainted Earth or Tainted Soul or something like that. Fair enough. Taint tainted that's what I Land. Would call it. And that, that does a, a slow component, or is it just straight DPS? Tainted Land is just, it has no slow on it. Okay. So. All right. We got your Tarek, and looks like somebody else was taking the wraiths because they decided we didn't need it. Ah uh, yeah, we just we just cleaned up in the jungle. Now we have people teleporting back to town. Scion wandering our side of the river. But you I mean right now, Purple's in a great position because they started pushing towers. Both towers are down in the mid, which is an advantage they have over Blue, as Blue is you know starting the only tier two tower left is the top, and you know it's under half, easily pushable by a really good you know force of wind. But we have a bit of jungling going on from my end of the Spectre, uh, though we do did just put up a ward in the top river section, so as to record activity. Like pre-made takedown right now. Uh-oh. Anti-ward. Was that an anti-ward or just a, a regular ward? Well, rewarded there, so... Uh-oh. Looks like uh, Team Blue wants to force a team fight here, but Scion's shield's going to go off and hit nobody whatsoever. So let's take our frustrations out on these creeps. They did not stand a chance. What creeps? The creeps in the middle. <laughs> I didn't see no creeps in the middle. The little I, minion I, I guess thingies. they just disappeared. Oh, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> let's put it that way. Does any team have a teleport, actually? Um, it... I don't believe so. Uh, yeah, sorry, Tarek. Oh. Tarek has a teleport. Tarek has teleport. And so do I, but I don't count. Um, I know, it's always nice to have at least one teleport on your team. Oh, Scion. Scion has a teleport as well. Sorry, keep uh, going. Yeah, I've seen that, but our team doesn't. 
Well, you also have Shen. Shen has a free teleport. Yes, but Shin teleport doesn't go on towards like the summoner spell. And that can be really handy because, say, if um, they're going to try to take the Baron, if you have that warded, you can teleport in there on the last minute and steal it if possible. Like me with my setup, I, this would be the setup I'd say if casted. Smite and teleport. I could teleport onto that ward. And then, before they killed me and killed the Baron, because they'd be trying to eat me too, I could use Smite and kill the Baron and steal it from my team. I probably would die in the process, but they would not have Baron, and most of us would. Well, I see what you mean, because we just had Scion actually teleport to a ward as you were talking about the advantages and example of teleporting to a ward. So that was kind of actually comedic timing on your part. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I did notice the Hawk Ash coming, the Ash's, Ash's Hawk coming out, preventing Team Blue from hitting that Baron. Skill shot landing on Striker, but this tower is going to be going down to Focus Fire, and that puts us at uh, tied for the at least the middle lane. But still, it's 14-8. It looks oh. like you've disconnected. <laughs> that was not intended. <laughs> I'm level 3 now, however, but it does look like Light Striker going to be taking a big brunt here. Everyone wants to take a piece of misfortune with her to the afterlife. Pre-made takedown is really hurting at this point. does look like True Knight of Ea is doing a great job tanking in that black hole of death, but he is going to go down to this focus fire. Nasus is a beast right now with his damage, and now they're really trying to straight sound this Tarek who is really stubbornly refusing to go down. Great use of the Ash Hawk right there to get vision as to what Tarek is doing. Tarek is still trying to go down. It looks like Premade was able to take down Ducky at some place as much as she had low health and now Tarek is also going to be joining her. The sole survivor there is that Scion as it does look like your team has picked up another three kills for not putting us now to 17-8 score. Uh, are you reconnecting any time soon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. It's kind of really not cool. Fair enough. Whatever you're playing with sounds cool. It looks like Team Purple now going to be taking out the Baron. Our ward can afford us to see that. Clint least uh, can't Lint Leastwood. Leetwood. Oh. <laughs> 211 damage on his base, going with a last whisper now to go with that Infinity Edge and a long sword. Does look like Scion wants to come crash the party. That Baron is so close to dead, however, that uh, they probably shouldn't uh, bother to say anything about him. Clint is going to go down to Syndex. I think he used his Death Grasp or his... Uh, whatever his ultimate is, but the Baron does go down. That puts Nasus in a very strong position with this Shen to take out this Scion. Scion could be in a lot of trouble. That shield, not going to go off at the last minute. They're able to DPS it down, and that will put an end to that fight. As we were able to pick up that Ash kill, 17-9, but in the process, you guys were able to take that Baron. Go. Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, quick item update here from Team Blue. Kennen has fixed, picked up a second Sunfire Cape and a Zeal. We do have Misfortune going with a Phage now to uh, go with a Banshee's Veil. So she's going for a little bit of survivability now, as she probably realizes she's the most squishiest hero on the team. Light Striker on that Tarek still has his chalice but a frozen heart to go with it now with that null magic mantle so he's definitely stacking a lot of armor including magic resist and that puts syndex now on that scion with a medjize but that medjize so far has not been that great a pickup for him as he only has two uh two stacks i mean 43 minutes in two stacks he's one three three uh so not not the best on him and it finishes off everything with a lich bait oh yeah Really nice item for him. Well, he been. has such a high base attack. And his um, enrage ability gives him 65 damage. It's pretty insane. But it, maybe he just so far hasn't been able to deliver really a lot of DPS. He's become more of a, a tanky target, especially with that shield and that Tarek on our team. Yeah. Well, he's going AP, uh, AP then... Yeah, basically AP hybrid, because it really doesn't matter which way you build him. He's always going to be a hybrid, because his ultimate gives him a huge amount of life still and attack speed. 
and then his enrage gives him a lot of attack damage so even without building any dps items he can still put out a lot of damage that